Welcome to our Global Finals 2023 review. We are going to present the Q&A for Piece by Piece for the Technical Challenge. I am your lead ICM, Katie Kolzinski, and I am from DI Alabama. Uh, I have been volunteering since 2010 on all levels, regional challenge master, affiliate challenge master, and now I'm your international challenge master. And hi, I'm Gemma Smith-Stumpf. I am the co-ICM for the technical challenge. Um, I've been involved in the program since I was in the eighth grade. So I did it through junior high and high school as a team member. I've been a team manager and now also a regional and affiliate and international challenge master. And I come from Minnesota. So we're going to cover some technical challenge highlights. Uh, there will be a lot of information that we present here kind of covering the entire challenge, but there are some specific tournament changes and updates that you may be interested in that will be in other videos or other global finals materials. So we want you to know that for prop storage and the movement of your solutions props, um, those will not be able to stay in our presentation area except for when you are presenting. So for more information on going from prop storage, going through pre-prep and prep, and then doing prop drop before your IC, please make sure you check out our tournament flow page on the Global Finals website. And now let's get into some technical challenge highlights. The first is a puzzle. We are piece by piece, so hopefully each of your teams have created a puzzle and are going to bring all of those pieces to Global Finals. We are excited to see them in Kansas City. We want to emphasize that your puzzles during your presentation will need to be assembled and completed. And when that happens, that team members can assist to get all of those pieces assembled and complete. So for this challenge, assembled means that each piece physically touches at least one other piece in the completed puzzle. And to earn points for that completed puzzle, each piece must be placed by a puzzle solver. Uh, your team can choose to start the presentation with your puzzle assembled or disassembled, but we need to ensure that before your puzzle assembly begins, all of the piece pieces are fully disassembled. I also want to note that you need to have all of your pieces depending on the level that you are competing in. So the minimum number of puzzle pieces are six pieces for elementary level, 10 pieces for middle level, and 14 pieces for secondary and university level teams. Note that this is the minimum number of pieces, and if your teams have decided to include more pieces to complete your puzzle to be fully complete and assembled, you need to include all of the pieces that your team is counting as a part of your puzzle you will need to include two puzzle solvers in your presentation. These two puzzle solvers should have different technical methods from each other. Your team chooses how different the technical methods are, but please make sure that the appraisers understand the difference in the technical methods on your tournament data form. Keep in mind that your puzzle solvers may not be any part of each other. Also, each puzzle piece um, in the puzzle must be placed by either one or both of the puzzle solvers. If pieces are not placed by at least one of the two puzzle solvers, your team may re receive zero points for the completed puzzle. In addition, each puzzle solver must connect at least one piece to another in order to earn um, points for that puzzle solver. So keep in mind, um, as Katie mentioned, assembled means that um, the pieces must be connected to each other and each puzzle solver must connect at least one piece to another in order to earn points. We want to take a moment to talk about risk taking. Uh, so teams are going to earn points for risk taking in both the design of the puzzle and the placement of your crucial piece. And for this challenge, risk taking means including potentially precarious elements in the design of the puzzle and the selection and placement of your crucial piece. So we still want you to meet all the specifications and requirements included in this challenge for what crucial piece means and your puzzle 
completion and assembly. Uh, and we also want to make sure that you're being safe because we don't need any safety risks as a part of your risk taking in this challenge. But we want to see how you are taking into account maybe the weight, maybe the size, maybe the design, maybe something that's not even um, we can conceive on this video for your risk taking. We want to see that your team challenged yourselves. Uh, no uh, team challenge is complete without your story and your team choice elements. So we can't wait to hear about your pivotal moment during your story. Um, and we also want to remind you not to forget to integrate the puzzle, crucial piece, and puzzle assembly into your presentation. Finally, we want you to show off your team's skills with two team choice elements. Your team should have selected two creations in your presentation, which are not already being evaluated as part of the challenge. These team choice elements are gonna be evaluated for creativity and originality, for quality workmanship or effort that's evident, and finally, for their integration into the presentation. And with that, we can't wait to see you in Kansas City. Thank you. And Gemma, will you take us away? Yeah, just want to say good luck and check out the website for uh, more updates.